Hello. I'm going to show you how to program your Beofang UV5R ham radio with Chirp. Uh, it's a free computer program that you can get that you can add in uh, all the channels and frequencies. Uh, it makes programming a lot easier and you can hit your local repeater this way. Uh, to do it, you need a data cable that connects to the uh, microphone and speaker jack and to a USB port. Uh, if you're on Linux, the first step is going to be to own that port. So you can do that with Chone TTY USB 0. And then in Chirp, you turn on your radio, go to radio, download from radio, and you're going to set the TTY USB 0, Beofang, and UV5R. Uh, this works with the UV5R Plus also. It's going to give you a warning, uh, but everything should work fine. So hit yes. Then it's going to tell you how to connect the uh, USB cable to your computer and the radio. Uh, pretty much you turn it off, connect it, turn it back on. Then it's going to clone. What this is doing is copying all the data from your radio onto your computer. Uh, it's all the settings and all the channels. I shouldn't take too long. If you have anything already programmed in here, you'll see it come up. I'm going to delete mine, and then we're going to come back and add more to it. Okay, so what Chirp is going to do is contact from Query Data Source Repeater Book. It's going to contact repeaterbook.com and ask for all the 70 centimeter repeaters in Polk County, Florida. Uh, the UV5R is a UHF VHF ham radio, so it works on the 70 centimeter and 2 meter bands. So we're going to use 70 centimeters and click OK. And that's going to ask Repeater Book for all of the repeaters in that area. And then they come up here. Uh, we can't use DV mode, so we're going to remove that because this is an FM mode only radio. And then we would copy all of the ones that we want, right click copy and then on our radio we go to the channel space that we want to start at channel 11 and hit paste and so it's going to paste them all in there uh, we could make another query let's say we wanted to go and get the two meter bands also for VHF so we hit OK it's going to come up with more channels grab them all copy and it's not showing us all of them so we can hit 127 for the memory range from 0 to 127 and go that will show us the 127 stations available and we'll paste these at 30 and see if you try to paste one that has DV it's going to say it's incompatible uh, other ones that I always make sure to get are the calling frequencies. You can get those from import stock config and US where are they at? 60 meter channels US calling frequencies. And it will show you 2 meter and the 70 centimeter. Those are the ones that we want. OK. And move them together. Control X, Control V copy them and move them over to our radio as our first channels. Cool. So now we have this new image. We can hit save as and save it as our Beofang new uh, 70 centimeter 2 meter. And then we go to radio and upload to radio. It's going to have the exact same settings we had before. Hit OK. I'm going to give you the warning again, hit OK. Another warning, yes, it's in the clone. Now the green light's flashing, and it's copying all of that information to your radio. Once it's done, it's going to hit reset and turn itself back off and on again. Um, while it's doing that, I'm going to show you a couple other interesting things besides just the channels. Um, in basic settings, you can set the display mode to be name. So that way you can see the channel name come up on your radio instead of the frequency. It just helps you uh, identify and know where you're talking to. 
but that's only for programmed in channels uh, it wouldn't work for a random station that you're on um, let's see other settings that I've set are turning off the voice scan resume I usually keep that at TO because that makes um, whenever you're scanning which you can do by holding down the number the star button it'll start scanning through all the channels that you have or frequencies if you are in the uh, VFO option um, TO means that whenever it comes across a carrier tone it's going to pause for a certain number of seconds uh, I don't think we get to set the seconds and then it's going to continue on um, then in other settings you can set the power on message uh, frequency limits you can tell that it's going to work out of band it's not going to work out of band um, just would let you program the frequencies out of band so anyway, uh, those are all your settings and again you could save it and upload it again to the radio um, but it should work then mine comes up and I have the name on the top part A and then the frequency on B uh, just in case you want to know, you know which frequency you're on and also the name of it uh, that should be everything you can find all of this on the uh, website uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer thanks for watching